Yeah, what what does keep you going? Because you've seen so much more death, especially like people really close to you, yeah. than the average person. Like I couldn't even answer you. I couldn't even answer that. All I know, I know the devil be mad as hell when I wake up and my feet hit the floor. <laughs> Cause he know he can't touch me. Like even in death, my son, the impact that he put put in and on this world is never gonna be forgotten. I don't care how people don't want to recognize. Real is real. You see what I'm saying? You a real person is like you can know them genuinely. You know, it's a tree with players me. Y'all ever heard that saying like you see it's a tree with players me because you know yeah. from one player to another. So But my man be so everywhere. Like right now, I was in the middle of a question, y'all, and I can't even remember what the f it was. <laughs> my thoughts, they just be coming in my head, Adam. Like they just be coming, and I be trying to say everything all at once, and I have to like just slow down. This is what I do therapeutic for me. I have to slow down. Because once you say it, it's out there. Right. And I ain't never see it that I couldn't see again. What was your relationship like with Kayla B? She was used to be at parties at my house. Like, we never beef. I remember it was an incident where, um, Jesus Christ, Lord, I'm really finna say this. I threw the kids a party and they were in there acting all wild and stuff. And somebody popped a balloon. And it sounded like a gunshot. So I grabbed the gun and I ran out. And Kayla B was in the corner with her leg up. And I'm like, who the fuck? Who the fuck doing? Who the fuck? And she like, Mama Sheena. Because they used to call me Mama Sheena. Now they was calling me Mama Duck before Duck died. She had her leg up. She thought I was going to shoot her or something. Oh, okay. What, what was she doing? I guess taking cover. Like, oh, okay. taking cover, like, because once I heard the balloon pop, I didn't know if motherfuckers was in my front room shooting, acting all stupid and shit. Yeah. So that's what that was about. Like, me and Kayla, that's why I didn't understand why she came at me like that. You know what I'm saying? But Vine is her brother. Can't nothing change that. You know what I'm saying? But they're my facts. Before you was your brother, you was his third crazy. He's like, fuck the ops, fuck O Block, all that. That's evident. I ain't finna have you or think you gotta go against your brother. Hell no, big side hell to the no. You better ride with your brother. So when did you think, when did the change happen? Like, cause she was hanging out with y'all a lot on 63rd. Was it after Vaughn got successful? Last time I seen Kayla B was when Lil J. Stomped her. Lil J stomped, stomped her, like her stomped her out. Stomped her. What, what happened? I threw my daughter 18. Like I just throw the parties for the kids. And we was at my cousin's house. She was actually with Corey, Duck's ex-girlfriend, that stabbed her. That stabbed him. Right. Who, who, where that, where is, where he at? When, tell him to bring it here. He can hear you. My, yeah, yeah. Well, I said I smoke? want to look all ratchet and get on here and smoke, y'all. But yeah, well, I was two hours in. You'll be all right. I need, yeah. <laughs> she, she smelled Donnie smoking yes. and it triggered her. <laughs> yes, it did. Sent me dead off. I'm like, hold on now. We got to hear this story, though. So it okay. was a party for her? Yes, for my daughter, Lachey, but okay. a baby mom. And she came with Corey, and uh, Corey wound up fighting another girl that Duck messed with named Peaches. And I asked Corey, I say, look, Corey, don't come here. Y'all going to have to leave if you finna come here and think you going to be fighting. She like, I ain't on that mama machine. You know, she had Kayla with her. This was after the fact that when she found out 
that Vaughn was her brother. So, yeah, he did. That fight broke out, and he stomped her ass the fuck out. All because she was Vaughn's sister. Oh, really? And she was at the party. He was like, that bitch can't come up in here. And I'm like, hold on, slow down. What is y'all? Because I'm already fighting Corey. Because I asked Corey don't come there fighting. So she want to play. So I had to put paws on her. Then after I did that, I took her upstairs and put her in the bed. And let her go to sleep. So did y'all all find out that Caleb B and Vaughn were uh, related at like one time? Like, how did, I mean, how did... it came out. I can't even remember. It really didn't make a difference to me. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm not holding nothing. I like her. Actually, she threw that bitch beating motherfuckers up. She was a wild little motherfucker. She like that. That's the Kayla I know. She was going with the real. Were you mad at Lil J for doing that? Huh. Or was it kind of... I mean, why would I... I mean, I didn't have no feelings about it. It was wrong. Right. I, I told him, why would he do that? Because I'm thinking, like, you bringing conflict to my cousin crib now. Because you just did that to her in here. So if she go back and get her brothers now, but see, Vaughn was in jail. So that's what I meant about... Yeah. If, you know, when Vaughn was locked up, a lot of motherfuckers stopped dying. Like, when nobody really getting killed. There's only so many people that are as committed to the war as he was, right? I just feel like there's no way I would have 50 platinum fucking plaques and just still have that mindset. That's why I felt it was personal with him and my kids. It really was. Everything he did from the trolling after his death, like, he was he was satisfied. They were so happy. Everybody was happy that boy was dead. But when you watch that Young Boy documentary, don't you kind of get the vibe that when Vaughn wanted to beef with Young Boy, that like maybe maybe he had some reasons, but ultimately I think he understood the value of beefing with a high profile enemy, right? And I think that with Young Boy, he had kind of like seen the limits of how far he was gonna get this and duck, and he had decided like this is the next person that I'm going to use to basically, like, further my career, right? Who? Um, Vaughn. So he was dissing. You see, I didn't know that. No, I said, no. And the I, young boy I know I yeah. saw the video. Like, I be fat. Bree, come fix this, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Real? I don't know. Y'all got to do better than that. I need a rock on. Who got one of them? Oh, you want this? It's got tobacco in it. I don't know if you like it. So they really do that? Mix tobacco <laughs> and weed up here? Yeah. Y'all tweet. Oh, that shit. Yeah. That they do shit it all over the world. Crack. Nah, I don't know. Nobody makes no weed it's not and no a primo. tobacco. Sorry. Shit, it might as well be. We might as well do something. Right now, you smoking. Uh, your head going to hurt and you hit it. Well, you can tell me if you like the way it smells. But you smoking a blunt, it's the same thing. No, see, what I'm talking about is straight weed, straight drop weed. It ain't got no mix of no tobacco in it. Like, I smoke cigarettes. Yeah. Okay. I'm a Newport. Hey, do you Newports. have one, by the way? Who smoked Newports? None of Nobody. us, unfortunately, yeah. You didn't used to have them in the vending machine? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Somebody said it was Newports in the vending yeah, machine. Wasn't was no cigarettes in there? I don't, I don't think there were. There, there was like. Oh, yeah, you can't buy Newports out here. Isn't that fucked up? Y'all got me fucked up. I got to go back to. I can't yeah. get no. You're going to be smoking Marlboros or something out here. I ain't smoking shit. And if I don't have a square in the next eight hours, I am just might as well stop smoking, baby. Yeah. I got to wait till I get back to Chicago to smoke a cigarette. Hey, I need everybody to check out NoJumber.com. We officially started a blog. It has in-depth articles about current events, music, et cetera, plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, et cetera. And you can get some exclusive new merch if you check out NoJumber.com. So make sure you tap in.